<coughs> Hello YouTube, just out here in the greenhouse. And I got tagged by Steve at Corsair Trainers for the 10 quarantine questions. And uh, leave it to Steve to make me bump up his watch time to make me have to watch him several times to get all the questions. Because, you know, Steve mumbles and goes on at a tangents. And he's American. He doesn't have the ability to focus. It happens. But let's answer number one. How much toilet paper do you have? Which I think is kind of a ridiculous question for a lot of the base that is being asked these questions and a lot of the base that watches these channels. We probably got bunches, but my wife happened to tell me today. That's why I went, oh yeah, I got to do that, that thing tonight. We have 18 Costco rolls that she knows about. There is more toilet paper here, but we haven't bought toilet paper in about three months. So that's where we're at. Uh, number two was like the biggest change since all this went down. And for me, it's work. I just, I would love, we'd be starting right now doing a whole bunch of stuff and it'd be wonderful to get back to doing a bunch of stuff. Oh, it sucks. But I am doing some more stuff at home. And I mean, I landscape. So when it's raining, at least I can work at home, but it's still kind of annoying. Um, uh, Steve kind of screwed up. I don't know if it was what I'm grateful for or who I'm most grateful for. So, but I can answer them both at the same time. A healthy family. Um, my extended family and my immediate family are all very healthy and they're all doing well. So that's just a great thing. Uh, number four, what have I gone without? And I would say, the biggest thing I've gone without is my gatherings. Uh, some of you know that I used to talk about having a lot of my guys out here on Sundays, having suppers and lunches and stuff like that. And that really sucks. I, I do miss that. Uh, one of our big chats earlier in the start of the year was what we wanted to accomplish this year. And more regular gatherings was one of them. And I mean, I live on a fairly majorly traveled road. So if someone goes by and they see a bunch of vehicles in my driveway huh. it's not something we want to deal with so that i would say is something that sucks for me all right so uh, oh yeah he said five was a um i don't know kind of question or a something and i don't know because it sounded like there was more questions later so i think maybe they didn't count five maybe five is actually supposed to be six uh what you miss the most, and I already answered this kind of, is work and gatherings, um, both of which I would love to have again. And uh, the favorite food. Well, I'm pretty simple. It's uh, that what's already cooked. Whatever she's cooked, whatever the kids have worked on, I'm loving it. Uh, although I will say we've been doing a lot of the sprouted greens. Um I can show you over here. These look kind of crummy right now. Only because I threw down diatomaceous earth on top of a lot of my plants. It's not dangerous to you unless you breathe it in. But it, uh, it's going to be... It's going to wreak havoc on the aphids. Um, but I've really been liking salads out of the fresh greens. And I mean, I'm not a big salad guy. But man, I'm enjoying those. All right, uh, when was I last camping? Uh, I did do camping with my son's scouting unit, but it was in like a cabin kind of thing. And otherwise, I'd be when we went camping with the whole family a couple years ago, and that was even an, an actual campsite campsite. Although, with all this going on, I'm going to be able to take the two oldest ones out to bushes around my place. And we're just going to go out and camp. I've got the okay from so many farmers that I know that they own all these properties that I'm allowed to go out whenever I want. I just give them a dingle, say, hey, don't worry about this. I'm out there and they're all good with it. They don't, they love me going out there because at least they know if there's a problem. Um, oh, pandemic purchase or sorry, no exercise. 
just working on the farm. I like what exercise are you doing during this time? I, but I'm not an exerciser to begin with. I mean, I should do more walks and all this stuff, but I used to say this in the factories with guys because they said, oh, I'm going to the gym after work. I'm going to this after work and I'm doing this after work. I said, you don't work hard enough. Work harder at work. Sweat. Do something. Then let's see how you how you do. But again, not to put down a lot of people in factories, but there is a lot of people in factories that are they will do everything in their power not to do anything. They will go out of their way to do as little as possible. But, uh, oh, and uh, then it's pandemic purchase. Uh, we didn't really have any pandemic purchases. Although I did have a hard time finding ground meat. So I did buy a bunch of ground meat from a local abattoir. Uh, just, But it wasn't really a panic purchase. It was more we were out of stuff. And I like to have a fair amount at a time, and I like to buy stuff in a large quantity to begin with. And then it leads to who you're going to tag with this. And uh, I got to tag Hooples just because he doesn't have enough stuff going on being on the front line dealing with all this stuff. So I need to give him more jobs. And uh, other, and I mean the other thing is. Steve over at Corsair tagged a whole bunch of people that I would have tagged, like Angry and so on, and Tyler at, at Let's Talk About Prepping. But I did grab a few that I thought would be fun to watch. Uh, Living Faith Homestead. Bob the Monk. Oh, you'll enjoy Bob the Monk. He's got the French accent. He's good to watch. You will enjoy. Bob, don't yell at me for my crummy accent. Just go with it. Um, Troll Forge, another Canadian over in Ottawa there. And, uh, Glenn Arthur, I know you don't have a channel. This is my set telling you, get a channel. Also, and I haven't been able to catch up on a few videos. Maybe, maybe this guy has been tagged. This is not his channel name, but everyone should know who I'm talking about. Uncle Al, I need you to make a video on this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.